other source. The Spy Who Loved Me, Saturday, 8, 7 central on the ABC Bond Picture Show. Next, why videotapes are being pulled from stores, but are you ready for the new trend in home entertainment? And a look at the strong storms that rolled through earlier, and what's next? 12 News at 10 starts now. You're watching WISN 12, southeastern Wisconsin's live, local, late-breaking 12 News at 10 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Kathy Michaelby. The first official day of summer brings severe weather. We had a tornado warning earlier tonight. We had that starting at about, oh, just before the 6 o'clock news. And now there are more thunderstorms moving into our area. We're going to go to Chief Meteorologist Mark Baden. He is in the Weather Watch 12 Weather Center. Kathy, thankfully, that was a Doppler-indicated tornado warning, and there was no tornado ever reported in parts of Dodge County. That certainly is good news. A little bit of damage, though, around the Fox Lake area with some strong winds and some large hail. Nothing too significant. That's good news. Here's what it looks like right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We've had some thunderstorms roll through just about all of southeastern Wisconsin, although it is now just down to... A little bit of light rain here and there, especially in Milwaukee County, the eastern portions of Ozaukee County. Some folks picking up quite a bit of rain. This is what it looked like earlier tonight up in Washington County. Photojournalist Mike Pauley was out and uh, taking a look at some pictures, and there was some lightning in there somewhere, but we somehow missed all that. And it was a pretty powerful storm as it did come rolling through. We'll try to get that video all straightened out just in time for the main weather segment coming up in a couple minutes. We'll look at that hot forecast coming up for this weekend too. Kathy? All right, thanks a lot, Mark. Well, at this hour, residents on Milwaukee's northwest side are hoping for a little peace and quiet. We've told you about several neighborhoods bombarded with teenagers who like to cruise, and the city's plan to put the brakes on it. Well, tonight, for the first time, signs banning cruising are posted along North Capitol Drive, and that's where we find Kim Dawson live tonight. Kathy, tonight police have two things working for them. First of all, the rain. Second of all, these signs that you're talking about that are posted just down the street right here. But of course, Northwest Milwaukee is not the only area with this problem. Cruising is also a problem in West Dallas, and there they have found something that seems to work. In West Dallas, traffic investigator Michael Fierro gets ready for what's typically a busy night. He'll be one of several officers cruising for cruisers. In fact, in West Dallas, at least five extra squads will be brought in tonight to target teens who drive back and forth here on Highway 100. They'll be uh, squealing tires at times. They'll be uh, racing their engines. Uh, sometimes they'll be hanging out the uh, windows. And problems continue despite the fact that signs banning cruising are posted. Still, officers say the signage helps and cruising in West Dallas isn't what it used to be. We would have uh, traffic backed up for five blocks, three lanes wide, bumper to bumper, and you couldn't go anywhere. Now the traffic has considerably thinned out. It's still heavy, but uh, it, it's considerably thinned out. Now we can get emergency equipment up and down the highway if we have to. West Dallas officers say proper signage is part of the solution. They also carry computers to help them track and ticket drivers who violate the city cruising ordinance. It prohibits drivers from passing the same spot more than twice in a two-hour period. Tonight in Milwaukee, some say signs are a good start. The fine is posted and also the ordinance is cited or the state statute is cited. And so it helps the police and the enforcement and helps uh, when it goes to the to court. And tonight, Common Council President Marvin Pratt says he plans to come out here just to kind of monitor this situation. We're reporting live on Milwaukee's northwest side. I'm Kim Dawson. Kathy, back to you. Now, Kim, I caught a glimpse of the sign. It's a pretty hefty fine they're talking about. It is. The fine is actually up to $200. The thought behind that, uh, people say if you hit them, where it hurts, perhaps you can curb some of this uh, rowdy behavior that is associated with cruising. All right, thanks a lot. Kim Dawson reporting live tonight. Well, they're downplaying it, but it could be the break investigators have been waiting for in the search for missing Utah teen Elizabeth Smart. Brett Michael Edmonds has been found in a hospital in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Using an assumed name, the drifter reportedly checked himself into the hospital for a drug overdose. Police want to question him about Mar Smart's disappearance, but maintain he is not a suspect in her kidnapping. He's a question mark, and we want to put a period on that question mark. 
Police also found Edmonds' green Saturn in the hospital parking lot. They searched the vehicle but found no sign of Elizabeth. Volunteers plan to be out tomorrow searching for a missing Milwaukee girl. Members of Operation LAP locate Alexis Patterson will search the Washington Heights neighborhood where the little girl disappeared May 3rd. A major boost today for law enforcement efforts to catch pedophiles looking for victims on the Internet. The method up for review by the high court involved a controversial practice by law enforcement officers. 12 News reporter Nick Bohr explains. Ever since state agents began surfing the web about three years ago uh, trying to snare pedophiles, lawyers for the suspects have argued it can't qualify as attempted child enticement since technically there's no child. But today's unanimous ruling by the state's highest court says the tactic is necessary and constitutional. We applaud the decision. I think it, it certainly is in the best interest of the kids of not only our community in our area, but across the country. Well, the ruling is great news for Waukesha County, where the Sheriff's Department just this month launched its own unit targeting just such crimes. And this is no guarantee that nothing bad is going to happen. But at least we can step up to the plate. We can say we're going to do something about it. We're going to try to help out and we can make a statement by doing that. With Wisconsin accounting for a full 10% of the nation's arrests for Internet child enticement, the ruling is an encouragement to keep it up. I want them to be thinking, if that kid is from the state of Wisconsin, that might not be a child at all. That might be a police officer. And I hope that that uh, will stop many of these from engaging in this kind of practice. And the state agents and other investigators are making no secret of the fact they'll continue to be out there. If we deter that behavior by warning people about it, maybe having people have second thoughts about entering these chat rooms, that's great. But if we have to deter the behavior by doing this, locking people up and putting them in jail, that's okay too. Well, the Supreme Court challenge was filed by a 48-year-old Milwaukee man arrested a couple of years ago in Outagamie County, allegedly trying to meet a 13-year-old boy for sex. Well, now that case and several others that had been in legal limbo can move forward. Nick Bohr, 12 News at 10. 80 people have been prosecuted statewide in the last three years. A 77-year-old Milwaukee woman shot while waiting for a bus is improving. Estella Williams has been upgraded to serious condition at a local hospital. The grandmother was injured in a drive-by shooting at a bus stop near Tetonia and Center earlier this week. Milwaukee's school choice program may be spared as state lawmakers try to fix the $1.1 billion budget deficit. A committee working on the budget agreed not to make any cuts to the program. The agreement was part of a package resolving 15 differences between the Assembly and the Senate plans. The committee has spent 10 weeks trying to hammer out a budget. They still have 47 differences to resolve. Milwaukee County Executive Scott Walker is asking for help solving the, country, the county's $51 million deficit. In a memo obtained by 12 News, Walker asked departments to prioritize programs and services and find new and innovative ways to run them. He also asked them to think about partnerships with the private sector and ways to bring in more money. The departments have until July 8th to submit their ideas for the 2003 budget. Well, it's a battle against time and weather. Wildfires have now burned more than a quarter of a million acres in Colorado and Arizona in what's being called one of the worst fire seasons on record. As some firefighters get much needed rest, most head back out to the front lines of the Hayman fire. The Forest Service is trying to take advantage of a second straight day of favorable weather. Though we have fire activity, it's not an extreme day where the fire is being driven hard by dry, hot southwest winds. Thanks to the weather and the hard work of firefighters, no homes have been lost since Wednesday and only a thousand more acres consumed. In fact, the Forest Service has just posted a list of two dozen communities safe for evacuees to return home. We were highly confident that they won't have to be evacuated again, but that doesn't mean they won't have to be because so much depends on the weather. Larry and Libby Howe are not among the lucky ones. Their Perry Park home is still in a danger zone. You know, we have all the family pictures the things that you can't replace and the rest is material goods they can be replaced meanwhile in denver the woman who started the fire forester terry barton remains in jail unable to post bond on arson charges am i angry at her i don't know the shoes she walks in i i i just can't be as this satellite photo shows colorado is not the only state on fire 
plumes of smoke can be seen throughout the southwest. Two fires in eastern Arizona have devoured more than 125,000 acres since Wednesday, forcing 12,000 people from their homes. I got a call that they were evacuating, so I got in the car and left. Fighting the fires could become more difficult this weekend when hot and dry weather moves back into the area. The FBI has issued a new terrorist alert warning that trucks loaded with fuel could be used to attack Jewish neighborhoods and synagogues. The alert comes from information from captured al-Qaeda fighters at Guantanamo Bay. Earlier today, federal officials were concerned about a possible attack on Las Vegas. A man there told authorities his cell phone intercepted a call between two people plotting an attack against the city, possibly on the 4th of July. ABC News has learned tonight that that man failed a polygraph test. An Arabic website is reporting Osama bin Laden is alive, in good health, and will soon make a televised address to the Muslim world. The Bush administration says there's no way to confirm the site's report, and it doesn't know if the al-Qaeda leader is dead or alive. An Oscar Mayer Wienermobile caught in the eye of national security. Virginia State Police stopped the 27-foot-long hot dog-shaped truck driven by two recent college grads. They accidentally ended up on a restricted road near the Pentagon. Police did not issue a ticket. Well, here in Milwaukee, the state animal made a surprise appearance. It is a very rare sight. An American badger. Remarkably, he'd been making his home in a window well at a laundromat at 46th and Hampton. Badgers generally avoid city life. He's only the third badger call that the Humane Society has gotten in 20 years. It's, it's a little bit of a mystery as to how it got here, but uh, we'll make sure he gets to a good, good uh, release location. It seems this badger has a friend, another badger who's still on the lam, so to speak. The laundromat is on the lookout. Well, it's a sign of the changing times, but are you ready to toss that VCR out the window? Well, don't do that. Definitely don't do that, but DVDs are so popular that a major electronics retailer is throwing out videotapes. I'm Jason DeRush, live in the newsroom. The story's next. It's been green for years. Now, why the color of money may soon be changing. And I'm meteorologist Mark Bain. Most of the rain is now moving out. What's in store for the rest of the weekend? Get ready for heat wave and weather watch 12. And a former Milwaukee, Washington star may soon be calling the Bradley Center home. The story later in sports. At Miracle Homes, we can build world-class luxury homes with music rooms. We build dream homes with fantastic kids' playrooms. Details like curved crown moldings. I'm Tom Hignight. The fact is, no other builder I know of builds the kind of quality we put into every Miracle Home. Our groundbreaking new turnkey price option now lets you build first and pay later. We are Miracle Homes, a Christian-based company. Want more from a sport utility? Test drive the all-wheel drive Subaru Outback. You'll get more ground clearance than a Ford Explorer Sport. More stability in a turn than the Lexus RX 300. More miles per gallon than any leading midsize SUV. Add a smooth car-like ride and you'll get more of what you're looking for. The all-wheel drive Subaru Outback. When you get it, you get it. See your local Subaru dealer for information on financing as low as 1.9% APR. Monday morning, a 12 News report too big to miss. Live from State Fair, find out who's headlining and get your first look at the clever new crop of ads. Live in our 6 a.m. half hour, we'll show you how to make sure the food you cook on the grill is safe to eat. Weather Watch 12. And live traffic. We'll see you Monday morning. I am on a mission to save the world from ordinary fast food. Friends, put down your burgers. They're a form and process slap in your face. You could be having KFC original recipe chicken. Slow cooked to lock in all that juicy flavor. You down there! Drop that burger! Only KFC has the Colonel's original recipe chicken. Hand prepared and served up hot and fresh every time. Right now, get 12 pieces of original recipe for just $9.99. Please, share the bounty of my bucket. This is what I do. There's fast food, and then there's KFC. Toyota Audition 10 event. This month at your Toyota dealer, it's all about big savings on trucks. During your region wide 10 event, get 1.9% financing on Tundra or take $1,000 cash back your choice. That's 1.9 financing or cash back. There's also great financing on the mighty Tacoma, but hurry, this ends faster than you can say the 10 event ends soon. How'd I do? Terrible! What was 18 seconds? What am I supposed to do for the rest of the commercial? Show the trucks. Trucks! Hurry to your Toyota dealer for the region wide 10 event because it ends fast. You're watching WISN 12 News at 10 o'clock, live.
Local Late Breaking with Jerry Tao, Kathy Michaelby, Weather Watch 12 Chief Meteorologist Mark Baden, and Sports with Dan Needle. WISN 12 News at 10 o'clock continues. A rough end to the week on Wall Street. The Dow tumbled for the third straight day, slipping 178 points to end at 92.53. On the NASDAQ side, the tech-heavy market losing 23 points to finish at 1440. Andrew Jackson, Ulysses Grant, and Ben Franklin will soon be getting new looks. The U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing plans to add new colors to 20, 50, and $100 bills as early as next year. The change would make it harder to counterfeit, which has become easier to do as copy and computer technologies improved. It changes so quickly. The, uh, the quality continues to get better. The cost continues to get lower. The availability uh, is more widespread. There are no plans right now to change $1 bills, $5 bills, and 10s since it's the big bills counterfeiters like to copy. Well, if you're afraid of new technology, we have some bad news for you. Circuit City will no longer sell movie tapes. Some are calling it the end of VHS. 12 News reporter Jason DeRussia is live in our newsroom with more on this. Kathy, it is a big step. Circuit City is the nation's second largest electronics retailer. Now, if you still own a VCR and you haven't quite made the switch to VG8, if, if you haven't made the switch to DVD yet, you shouldn't hit the eject button on your videotapes yet. Ships, please. If you listen to the hype, this is the only way to watch a movie on DVD. Awesome picture with Good lots morning. of special features. Good morning. It's better. It's Picture's clear, sounds better. Everybody's switching over to DVD. My parents just bought one a little while ago, so we'll probably get one pretty soon. And Circuit City has that same feeling. They're ejecting VHS tapes from all their 600 stores. Borders Bookstore started the trend. They, too, are phasing out tapes. In no means am I giving up on VHS yet. Michelle oh, eglis Wrightbird is the owner of Milwaukee's RSE Video. She says, rewind. It is clearly not the day of the dead for VHS. Yeah, not yet, not anytime soon. One thing that's very limiting about DVD uh, so far compared to VHS is you can't record on it. Even though DVD players are pretty cheap, they're even giving some away at RSE Video, only 30% of Americans own the machines. 90% of us own VCRs, and that may be the saving grace for consumers like Mike Deal who actually prefer videotapes. On DVD, you got that little black strip across the top and the bottom. It's just, you know, I'd rather have the whole screen filled. And so independent owners are fine with the national stores dumping VHS, as long as consumers don't dump their VCR. Certainly don't throw them out the window. Blockbuster Video says DVD rentals made up 19% of the rental business last year. 19%. They say this year it's going to be 40%. These things are growing incredibly. The comparison a lot of people are making is that of cassettes to CDs, that transition. Cassettes are still around, but certainly CDs are the dominant medium. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jason DeRussia. Kathy? Jason, any sense in what it would take to just completely knock out VHS tapes? The biggest thing is they're waiting for a recordable DVD player. Mm. Right now they cost like seven or 800 bucks. That's gotta come down to below 200 before people really get rid of their VCRs. All right, thanks a lot, Jason. And Circuit City will continue selling VHS tapes on its website. Best Buy says while it has no plans to halt video sales, it is phasing back its stock. Time now to check on the forecast. Chief Meteorologist Mark Baden joins us. And quickly improving, at least rainfall-wise. Now, a couple minutes ago, I promised you some great video from photojournalist Mike Pauley, and you know what? Here it is. He was traveling up north in Washington County, got into parts of Dodge County, and let's take a look at some of these pictures. We had a lot of lightning, as well as some very, very powerful winds across some parts of the area. There's the lightning that I was speaking of. And this was in Washington County, the town of Allenton. You could hear the thunder in the background, too. It was pretty powerful. Mike said it was uh, quite a display there for a while, and it has calmed down dramatically. Let's get a live look outside on the WeatherWatch 12 camera network in Racine with the rain tapering off there as well. Temperature is down to 70 degrees. A little bit of fog around as the night goes on as well as we have such sticky air Dew point temperature about the same as that temperature in Racine right now. It's 70 degrees. Let's look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And 
most of the area now is completely dry. I'm still concerned with this round of thunderstorms up to the north of us. That may clip parts of Fond du Lac and into Sheboygan County. The majority, the only threat really from this is going to be very, very heavy rain. And it's slowly drifting to the east-southeast. So again, the northern portions of Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County, you may still get some of these heavier thunderstorms with very heavy rain. The rest of us now pretty much clearing out. Still a chance of an isolated thunderstorm here or there. Let's get a look at our next red radar. And this was earlier when we had the tornado warning. Here's the reason why. Do you see the little hook echo on your picture right there? It's kind of in the shape of a hook. And that's where we thought there might have been a tornado. That's why the tornado warning came out. There was never a report of a tornado on the ground, not even any funnel clouds. But this did roll through the town of Fox Lake, bring with it some pretty strong winds as well as some large hail. Now everything is moving on, moving out over Lake Michigan. We still will watch those thunderstorms up to the north. Here's what it looks like around the state. And you can see a line of showers and thunderstorms trying to sink to the south. But for the most part, they will stay north of the majority of southeastern Wisconsin for the rest of the night. As we widen the view even more, there was a tornado watch earlier tonight. That is gone now over parts of Iowa. And again, the forecast will continue to improve, at least dry out for the next couple of days. 66 Stevens Point right now, 68 in Milwaukee. Look at these temperatures down to the south, and it is sticky with dew point temperatures around 70. It is going to be a sultry weekend. Temperatures around southeastern Wisconsin, right around 70. Here's Predictor 12. It is your most accurate look at tomorrow's weather. Warm front makes its way through the area for tomorrow, and it will lead to a very hot, hazy, and humid day. Most of the thunderstorms will stay to the north of us. We may get our northern counties clipped again for tomorrow but the hot, hazy conditions will prevail. Tonight, down to 68 degrees. Still a chance of an isolated thunderstorm for tomorrow. High temperature hitting 89. All sorts of sunshine. The heat index near 100 degrees. It is going to be sticky out there. Sunny and hot for the brew crew. 6.05 start. Your weekend outlook around the rest of this day. Yeah, the Triple H's continue. Hot, hazy, and humid. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s just about everywhere. 91 on Sunday. 91 degrees on Monday. So about three day stretch of some really warm air, 87 degrees on Tuesday with a couple of thunderstorms rolling back in. Very appropriate that today was the start of summer. Summer in the city. All right. A valiant run by the Americans coming to an end at the World Cup. Here's Dan. Yes, it did. Team USA certainly opened some eyes with their effort at the World Cup. But the Brewers played as if they had their eyes closed tonight at Miller Park. Highlights of a less than angelic performance next. Dependable, rugged, hardworking. These are the building blocks for every Chevy truck. They're also the reason Chevy has the best selling trucks in Southeast Wisconsin. And we're building on our momentum with 2,500 cash back or 1.9% APR on Chevy Avalanche and select Silverado models. Solid trucks build one solid reputation. See your local Chevy dealer today. The words you write in a journal can change your life. If it wasn't for journaling, I would have probably given up and ended my life. Inside Extraordinary Personal Journals. Next Oprah. Monday at 4, only on 12. It's official. Toyota is America's number one selling certified used vehicle. And the people at your Toyota dealer are pumped up about it. <laughs> Some are more pumped than others. Toyota certified used vehicles. The best new cars make the best used cars. Now your Toyota dealer celebrates with great financing on these number one selling vehicles. Couple things you'll find every time you walk into Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Service. We're here to help you. Selection. Lots and lots to choose from. And value. The top brands and low prices. Get F and F Premium Primer, a gallon of exterior oil primer, fourteen forty nine. Choose from an Easy Painter four piece one coater tray set or a four pack of one coater roller covers. Your choice five ninety nine, and get the Intermatic Solar Powered Tear Light nine ninety nine. Real time closed captioning brought to you by Colders. So come on, get comfortable at Colders, West Dallas, Oak Creek, and now Colders Lake Country in Delafield. Toto, I have a feeling that we're no longer in Kansas any longer. Hello, Newman. Chewy! <gasps> Howdy, Pilgrim. Look, I'm your father. Stella! Book him, Dano. I am Spartacus. Oh, Godzilla! 
You don't have to be a great actor to get on screen. Introducing the Super Money Game Show from the Wisconsin Lottery. This $1 instant scratch game is the ticket to get on TV. No special skills required. Are you talking to me? Monday on 12 News at 6, Wisconsin is making its railroad crossing safer, but our drivers playing it safe. We've seen people play chicken and then laugh about it. A rare look at railroad crossings from the engineer's point of view, Monday on 12 News at 6. How long has it been since the Brewers and Angels played a meaningful game against each other? The Brewers pitcher Ruben Cavedo was in diapers when Milwaukee beat California in the 1982 American League Championship Series. Cavedo was the Brewers' starting pitcher tonight against those Angels. Ruben allowed four first-inning runs in each of his last two starts. Tonight, much better. None in the first. And then a solo homer to Brad Fulmer in the second. 4-1 Angels in the fourth. Base is loaded for Garrett Anderson, and that is trouble. Somebody pick it up. Anderson clears the bases with a double. Pick it up. Cavedo allows seven runs in just four innings of work. And if one play sums up this night, this was it. The grounder to Tyler Houston. Just to get outside on the throw. Out another run to score. Looks like the Channel 12 softball team. Hey. Tyler Houston did extend his hitting streak to eight games with an RBI double in the eighth. Houston's batting 600 during that streak. However, the Brewers take a pounding, 11 to four, at the hands of the Angels. I think we've, uh, you know, run the, run out of our opportunities to do that. We came back so many times from five run innings, and you know that's that's tough. Former UW Oshkosh star Jared Washburn makes his Miller Park debut tomorrow night for the Angels. The lefty from Webster High School is off to a 6-2 and two start. Oh, I'm pretty excited. It's, uh, it's always good to come home, and uh, a lot of people who haven't get, got to see me pitch uh, will, will be here tomorrow night and uh, at the game and be able to see me for the first time, so that's always good. So is UW Oshkosh. Fifteen years ago, Paul Molitor hit in 39 straight games for the Brewers. He was the last major leaguer to have a hit streak of at least 35 games. But make way for Marlon second baseman Louis Castillo. Tonight in Miami, third inning, his second at bat. He gets the infield single off former Brewer Steve Sparks. Castillo's hit streak now at 35 games, tied with Ty Cobb and two others for the 10th longest in Major League history. The Marlins beat the Tigers 4-1. to Will the Bucks pull off a major trade before next Wednesday's NBA draft? Well, the New York Daily News reports the Knicks and Bucks have explored the possibility of a trade that would send Glenn Robinson to New York and Latrell Sprewell back to Milwaukee, where he owns a home and a boat. We hear the former Milwaukee Washington star will be 32 next season. The Sporting News reports of Packers safety Leroy Butler will not participate in contact drills until the end of training camp, but he is close to being cleared for action. Butler still rehabbing a broken shoulder blade. He's been working with a personal trainer to get in shape for what could be his last season as a starter and has reportedly agreed to take a $1.5 million salary cut. And the Americans' improbable run at the World Cup ended early this morning in South Korea in the quarterfinals. Germany's Michael Bollock scored the only goal of the match in the first half. German goalkeeper Oliver Kahn, Yao to nine, made a number of huge saves. Germany wins 1-0, but the Americans won over a lot of fans worldwide. It was a fun ride. We really grew together, and even the last 15 minutes, our bus ride together, you know, we really came together as a family, and the American public has come behind us, and uh, we feel good about the experience, but we're real disappointed about the game. Tony Sané, of course, mm -hmm. played for UWM in the Milwaukee Rampage. There's always next year. <laughs> Four years from now. Well, that's right. Yeah. Well, they'll be ready then. Okay. Here are some lottery numbers.
warm, get comfortable during Kohler's Any Size One Low Price Mattress and Box Spring Sale through Sunday. Choose any size Sealy, Simmons, or Serta mattress and box spring set from just $78 sets each piece. Save an extra 10% on all Sealy, Simmons, and Serta premium mattress and box spring sets. Choose King, Queen, Full, or Twin Sealy, Simmons, or Serta from just $78 sets each piece. Put your home in show quality through this Sunday at Colder's, Original West Dallas, South Shore Oak Creek, and Lake Country in Delafield. Store it and save at Menards. This handy storage unit from Rubbermaid is great for tools, toys, or recycling. It's weather-resistant and snaps together in minutes, just $88 each. Protect cars, boats, and trailers with VersaTube shelters. They're super sturdy and simple to assemble. A 12 by 20 foot model is on sale $599. A 20 by 20 foot unit is $899. Get quality, selection, and value at Menards. Save big money at Menards. One, two, three. Pontiac announces new incentives on the 2002 Grand Am, the most popular in its class over the last five years. More on the road than any car in its class. Need we say more? Current Pontiac GMAC Smart Lease lessees drive a 2002 Grand Am SE for around $199 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. One drive will show you why most new car buyers who shop a Pontiac buy one. Pontiac's in overdrive. See your Pontiac pace centers today. Billions of calls travel through SBC's telecommunication networks. Some are for us. From people looking for us to solve a problem, fast. In our Ameritech region, we monitor our networks 24-7. So a lot of times we can spot a problem and fix it before anyone even notices. The customer, that's who we answer to. Infinite Trust, SBC. Need a cure for the common car? Take one of these, the totally new Nissan Altima. Just ask Kiplinger's personal finance, or just ask car and driver. Better yet, read the label. The new Nissan Altima, named North American Car of the Year. Get over to your Nissan dealer and check out the new Nissan Altima, the cure for the common car. Nicely equipped at only $19,539. Nissan, driven. The best I ever had! Feeling hot, hot, hot over the next couple of days, all the way up to 91 on Sunday and Monday. A lot of humidity as well. Heat index near 100 degrees. Take it easy out there. Good advice. Anything to add? Ya or the nine? Oh, Hollywood Squares is next. <laughs> Wisconsin Lottery is brought to you by Colders. Wisconsin's number one Honda dealer, Honda City, is turning up the heat with record-breaking prices on Accords and Civics. Honda City has Accords galore, over 300 new Accords priced as low as $12,995. Or you own it for $169 a month. Or get 2.9% financing during Honda City Super Civic Sale with Civic leases as low as $113 a month. If you have Honda fever, Honda City has the cure. Three blocks south of Oklahoma on Highway 100. You get the Honda you want and pay less from the good guys in the white hat. Honda City. A personal message from Safety Darren Sharper. Are you ready for some softball? Be a part of the star-studded afternoon at the WISN 12 Celebrity Softball Slam. Rush into your nearest Coles food store for tickets. Join me and the rest of the pack. See Butler, McKenzie, Rivera, Franks, and more. Plus Heisman winner Ron Dane. Seats are still available but going fast. The Celebrity Softball Slam, July 6th. Presented by Miller Lite, Menards, and Subway. Football, softball, we, we can, can do, do it all. all. Hi, I'm Bob Colombosian, and welcome to Ando. My mom, Rose, came here in 1929 from Armenia. Armenia. She invented Colombo yogurt in our kitchen. Kitchen table, chopping up the fruit. We called it Colombo yogurt because no one could pronounce Colombosian. I see shot the Armoria. Only mom can make yogurt this good. I'm sure your mom cooks nice things, too. Thanks for visiting. At American's Bedding Store, there are more reasons than ever to make it the place to buy your new mattress. First of all, you get the low market price every day with American for Your Home's patented price check system. And American has the largest selection of Sealy mattresses in the state. So when we put all Sealy's on sale, well, that's a pretty big deal. You also get a free bed frame with correct comfort and posturepedic sets. And there's even six month financing on all mattress sets, $2.99 and up. American for Your Home. Slow it down, sister. I got a situation in lunchroom three. Come back. Can you all?
all say magma? Magma. Good. Let's get home safe, people. Obsessed with safety? Have we got a minivan for you. Toyota Sienna, the best minivan tested by the Insurance Institute. How about removed? 12's all